right guys what i want to show today is how to tighten the slipper um, this is the way i do it um, it's worked well for me basically what i do is i have a loosened slipper in there right now no loctite yet i have my two millimeter hex driver in there and i'm going to hold the hex driver and basically push the truck forward until the rear tires start to skid and right there, rear tires are skidding. So for me, that is a perfectly tightened slipper. And now what I'm going to do is remove the power module back out of the truck, tip it up on the end of the motor can, and put a drip of blue Loctite in the end and let that sit upright for 24 hours. Okay guys, now I have the module sitting upright, resting on the motor can, and so I can put a drip of blue Loctite into the back of the hub onto the screw and this is what i'm using medium strength blue thread locker and i'm just going to put a couple drops in there that's going to sit around the threads of the screw preventing it from backing out and loosening the slipper i'm going to let this sit for 24 hours before i put it back together if i put it back together right now that thread locker will bond to the input shaft, which would make it harder to take your power module out the next time. It's not gonna affect the slipper, but it will affect being able to get the motor module in and out of the chassis. Thanks for watching.